It's great. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty awesome. I mean, getting to play for like the hometown team in front of Larry Bird and everybody is pretty cool, obviously. So, um, but yeah, I really enjoyed it. It was fun playing against you know elite competition. All these guys are great and everything. So it was really fun. I enjoyed it. What ran through your mind then when you got the call or were alerted? Hey, Pacers want to bring you in. Yeah. Um, so pretty much yesterday, I was talking to my agent. And uh, we ha I had like a meeting with him. He said I hadn't really gotten any workouts yet. And then I got home and he called me and said, hey, the Pacers want to work you out. So, you know, all the emotions kind of ran through, you know, nervous, excited, all that stuff. Um, but, yeah, just super grateful and just thankful to have the opportunity here and get to play in Indy and, and see everybody. So, but, yeah, awesome. Awesome so to, stuff. To keep going up, what was kind of the coolest part of today? Is there, is there uh, what were the kind of the surreal moments, I guess? Uh, just being in the facility for one, um, and then I, I talked to Larry Bird a little bit. And I just said, "Hey," but I mean, obviously, <laughs> you know, growing up in Indiana, that's obviously really, uh, really cool. So, um, but yeah, just being around everybody, being in the facility itself, and like I said, growing up watching the Pacers, and now actually, you know, working out for him is a dream come true. So, what the, I just, just how, how much has your game developed over the course of the past year? I and mean, obviously, you took a little. Bit. A yeah. chance, you know, moving up to play in Division One, Morehead State after a couple years, yeah. all of that. I mean, just what, uh, you know, how have you kind of made this leap to be yeah. in this position? Um, just, you know, I, I would think off the court as far as discipline, I really got a lot better. Uh, mm -hmm. Sleep, eating, all that stuff, strength-wise, uh, I've gotten a lot quicker. Um, I'm a little bit of a late bloomer too, so you know that also helps. Obviously, just physically getting stronger and everything. Mm. And then as far as on my game, just patience and pace of play, um, reading the options, making good reads, all that, all that stuff. And and low post scoring is my kind of my forte, so all that improved. What would you say late bloomer? I mean, like what, what? How much did you change physically? Yeah. What, what, what were you going into college? Where yeah. Were you now, you know, um, so coming into college, I was like six eight and a half, about two sixty. Mm. Um, of not muscle, <laughs> pretty much, yeah. So my freshman year kind of developed a lot, and then sophomore, junior, senior year just kept getting stronger, bigger, faster. And so I'm 6'10 now, and I'm about 240, 245. So, um, yeah, just kind of becoming a man, I guess, right. in a sense. So, what yeah. did what did this the smaller school lifestyle just sort of do for you, basically? Like be, being in that kind of environment, how do you think that helped? How do you think yeah, that um, again, like I said, I come from a town of like 2,000 people, so I'm kind of used to the small town environment. Um, mm -hmm. I've really enjoyed it, you know, that small town feel where you know everybody and, mm. and uh, really build relationships because, mm. you know, there's not as many people and everything like that. So, and I just kind of like being the underdog as well. It's kind of fun being in that role, obviously. So, yeah. At what point, I guess, it, I guess maybe last year going into the last season, did you say, hey, I'm, I'm ready to make a move. I can play in Division One. And yeah. Um, so pretty much I had four great years at all of that, and I kind of just felt like I hit my ceiling. I wanted to challenge myself a little bit more. Mm. Um, and so that just the physicality and everything of Division One level compared to NAI, I just kind of wanted to see how I would do and, and mm -hmm. how I could compete against the best. Obviously, Division One's the highest you can go in the collegiate level. So I just wanted to see what I did against, you know, tougher competition, playing against bigger schools like Indiana, Clemson, and stuff like that. So. Since this was your first workout, what were kind of your takeaways from the experience? I'm sure you've seen yeah. other guys go through this yeah. and maybe wondered what it was like, and now you just experienced yeah. it. Yeah. Um, yeah, just – Again, just keep getting, you know, I just got to keep getting stronger, keep getting faster. Um, I think my skill level is, is there, but I just physically, I have to get more stronger, faster and everything like that to compete um, at the highest level like this. So I think if I just keep being patient like I have and just keep working on my game, keep working on, you know, the athleticism part, I think it will come as the years come on. So. Who were your favorite Pacer players? And, and do you have any great memories growing up of either going uh, to the game or experiencing something? Favorite Pacer player, that's tough. <laughs> Uh, I was a big, I was a big Danny Granger, Paul George guy. Uh, I like Miles Turner a lot. Um, yeah, I like those bigger guys. And and uh, yeah, favorite memories. I mean, I we would come when I was little. I remember we came and watched uh, the Pacers versus the Cavs when Shaq and LeBron were on the team, and then the Pacers had Danny Granger. You know those years. So just going to games with like my dad and stuff like that, obviously, or was really fun. So. Did you grow up like an IU fan? Like who did you uh, Purdue fan. So my mom went oh, to really? Purdue. My mom went to Purdue. So grew up a Purdue fan. Um, but I mean, just kind of cheer for you know whoever. So, but yep.